it opened in 2000, the Hudson Bergen light rail system was considered a dubious investment. Today, the system is straining, overburdened with daily riders. Officials say getting a seat nowadays, especially at rush hour, can be a challenge. In the past seven years alone, passenger trips have doubled to more than 45,000 daily trips uh, we serve per day. Naturally, with this growth in ridership comes a growing need for increased capacity. New Jersey Transit unveiled a prototype light rail vehicle today that they say will expand capacity by 50% per train, not by adding new train trips, but by expanding the trains already on the tracks. This little vestibule is what New Jersey Transit calls it, allows them to add an additional middle car and expand capacity significantly. The additional sections increase the car length by 37 feet and extend, extend uh, seating capacity from 68 to 102 seats. Officials say the new sections run about 1.5 million per train, roughly 20% of the 5 million or so it would cost to put a whole new train into service. The agency said it expects the federal government to pick up most of the cost of the upgrade. Hudson County Executive Tom DeGeese was a city councilman when the light rail system began operating 13 years ago with about 1,900 riders a day. This new addition to the arsenal of carrying people around Hudson County, the increase in capacity is very welcome. You have the feeling that in a few years we may be down here again so that we, with a new innovation, that will add more ridership to it. This is a six-month pilot program. Officials say tomorrow's fireworks along the Hudson River will be a good first test for the trains. They say with big events like the Super Bowl and Formula One races becoming more frequent, more seats on trains will become a necessity, not only for tourists, but for locals as well. The thousands and thousands of people in, our, in North Hudson, they don't have cars. They have to take buses or jitneys to get someplace. This gets them to the PATH station, this gets them to all, all Jersey City, to Newport Mall, to Bayonne. On the weekends, it is at capacity. If you go to Newport Mall and you want to go to back to North Hudson, you cannot fit on the train. In a lot of ways, New Jersey Transit's light rail system is a victim of its own success. Even with the announcement of today's increased capacity, commuters are already calling for increased capacity on the weekends. No plans for that just yet, say transit officials. In Jersey City, I'm David Cruz, NJ Today.